As a Muslim, do you see Muhammad as a moral example? Yes, I do. Do you see him as the best moral example? Yes, I do. do you see him as the best man? Yes, I do. So when he married a nine-year-old child, is that an example to you? A, a nine-year-old, 1400 years ago, is nothing like a nine-year-old today. The so the there is no... I'm sorry, this, 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 this sister, sister, this is utter rubbish. Yes. Mohammed had sex with a nine-year-old child. Was he right or wrong? Firstly... Let's dispute the sources. Yeah, about the watch, the there we go. You team. see, once the sources are an embarrassment <laughs> to them, they That's shut true. them away. That's true. What do you think should happen you? to yes. gay people in Sharia law? Sharia law. Yes. What should happen to gay people? Oh, he's walking away. Do you believe the Shia or the Sunni hadith? Shia or Sunni hadith? From the worship of the one true God. It takes some away from the Let me tell you why you say this. No, no, no. It takes away from the alcohol, from drugs, from Christianity does that. Alcoholics Anonymous was set up by Christians, not by Muslims. That's the only reason. You come out with nonsense like that. You don't know what you're talking about. Because you still give me a reason. You don't know what you're talking about. You still give me a reason. You haven't even read the Bible. You haven't even read the Bible. I haven't read the Bible. So why are you trying to say what our faith does and doesn't do if you've never even read it? Jesus loved gay people. What you said was, what you said was, Jesus loved Are you saying that Christianity doesn't take people away from these sins? No. Is that what you're saying? Ask you a question. Did Jesus love gay people? Jesus loves Muslims. They're sinners too. Why are they sinners? Jesus loves Muslims and they're sinners too. Why? So, right. Listen. Right. So, therefore, humble yourself. Under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in the proper time, casting out your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Be of sober spirit. Be on the alert. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion. Seeking, yes, Jesus loves gay people. And he loves Muslims, and they're both sinners. Jesus loves gay people. Yes. You can't read out to me anymore. That's it. Wait. Because you told me Jesus so loves gay people. So you don't love gay people. Are you, are you saying you don't love gay people? I don't accept them. Are you a Muslim? I don't accept them. Are you a Muslim? Do you love gay people? Do you love gay people? I don't accept them. Do you love gay people? You don't love them. Do you hate them? I don't hate them. You don't hate them. But you don't love them. You're ambivalent towards them. What do you think should happen to gay people in Sharia law? Sharia law? Yes. What should happen to gay people? Oh, he's walking away. Oh, he's walking away. What should happen to gay people in Sharia law? No, it's not a silly question. It's a perfectly valid question. What should happen to gay people in Sharia law? No, no, we can film. We can film here. Because they always bring this up. Don't touch my cap. Don't touch my cap. Don't push me. You're pushing me. Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. They always go in Islam. Don't gain discussion, bro. I mean, these biggest go down. You walk up the bridge. What should happen to gay people in Sharia law? So you accept it? What should happen to gay people in Sharia law? What? So you accept in your religion a kid to grow up with men and men? No, no, no. We are saying that we love the sinners, not the sin. We're saying we love the sinners. Not the sin. Listen, not the sin. If you unplug your ears, right? Get rid of your ego and your attitude. Listen to what I'm saying. We Christians believe that sinners. So why do you have different Bibles? Why do you have different Bibles? Sinners like you. Why do you have different Bibles? You mean like your different Qurans? We have different Quran. Which Quran do you believe in? Why do you have Quran, the Wash Quran, or the Dori Quran? We have a which one? Show me the other Quran. Show me the other Quran. Show me the other Quran. DCCI. 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 Show me the other Qu
Are you trying to provoke? He's trying to provoke me on camera. Sorry, brother. You're on the right. I'm a black belt. Should you lie? You've just lied to someone. Oh, you're trying to be violent. Get this on camera. We're talking about persecution of Christians. Get this on camera. Well done. This is the persecution of Christians. We're going to go in into the next video. Hey, what was he saying about Bob the Builder? Talking about Sharia law. Show me the book of Sharia law. That's what you want to talk about. So, tell me this book. Now go on, show me the book. Are you saying there isn't a Sharia law? No, I'm saying there's no Sharia law. Show me the book. There's multiple books on Sharia law. show me Well, you've got lots of the different legal schools. They pass legal jurors. I don't want to know about legal, about school jurisprudence. Am I mistaken? Oh, yeah. yes. can so I there isn't a thing called Sharia law. No, that's not what I said. Oh well, correct me then. Bob, what what Bob is there? Can I ask you something? Sir? Let me let me one question. I'm going to go. Yeah. Yeah. One no, minute. No. I'm going to go. Book. No, no, no. Okay. Go one question. Then we're not. No, no, no. no, no, no. Sure. Sure. So we're, if you're just making a point, no, otherwise, then I'll talk to him. I'm asking you to show me. You want to talk about Sharia law? Okay. I don't have the book to show you. Now tell me. There isn't one. Right. Is there such a thing as Sharia law? Yes. There is. So when I talk about Sharia law. I am valid in speaking about no, Sharia. You're not as a person. Why? You are Why? not. You are not educated enough or an expert in Sharia law. Are you? Neither am I. No. Are, 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 are the Muslims here? No. So do you go around telling the Muslims they shouldn't be speaking on Sharia law? If so, if someone was to make a stupid comment like you did earlier, yeah, I would. I I, I, I would like to see that. I really would. Right. Directly to someone who's talking about Sharia law. Shamsi. You're the only one. <laughs> You're the only one that so, comes here to this Sharia law, law all the time. So you Sharia law. Says this. What does Sharia law says that? What does Sharia law say about homosexuals? Don't worry. What you are happen? not. Me and you are not educated enough to answer talk about Sharia law. What does Sharia law say? What Sharia law say about homosexuals? Neither of us. What does Sharia law say about homosexuals? Is it your business? Tell us. Is it your business? What does it say? Do you have Sharia law here? What does it say? Why are you so scared of Sharia law? Stop because it's a bad idea. Do you reckon it's going to happen? You have the law of God. If you think it's going to happen, that means you're scared. Are you denying the law of God? No. Are you denying the law of God? If you have faith in God, then that means you shouldn't be so scared. Subhanallah. So what are you denying the law of God? Show some respect to the brother. Come on, man. Watch the sources. His own hemorrhages. I'm asking, what does it say? What does it say? What should happen to homosexuals? Neither me nor you. That's what I'm saying. We know. All this building. All not educated. Neither am I. Why are you going to do that? Wait, wait. If you're saying. No, I'm not going to talk about what the public should be in So what you're saying is, I'm wrong, but you aren't in a position to tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, and I'll admit that. Right. Get that logic. I'm wrong, but he's not in a position to tell me. I can tell someone they're wrong. And say, but I'm not. So I'm not educated enough to correct I, I you. propose a premise that. to you that in Sharia law it says homosexuals it should that. be killed. It You're say saying that. it doesn't. It says tuck up for the tallest building. Huh? Tuck up for the tallest mountain or something oh, like that. Yeah, or the building. Like the shard. So, uh, I take it obviously. I this, take, let, me, let me explain to you what the Sharia law is. Yeah, go on, on, tell us. Right. You have to study <laughs> Islam, the religion, yeah. years and years before yeah, you can yeah. make rulings on yeah. what is and isn't considered authentic in Sharia law. And the fact that those God. rulings are contradictory, right. does that not trouble you? It's different. You understand, right, you're educated enough by Islam to know there's four main schools in Sunni Islam, yeah? And, and then five scared. of them He's the new man. Not of you, my friend. Not of me. When Not of you, law. my friend. Of Sharia law. Sharia law needs to go in the dustbin. Because we shot Ronaldo. We're going to shot Ronaldo now. So, well, well, fuck Sharia law. Yeah. Your words. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Your words. When you oh, say. No. Yeah. Go on, baby. Yeah. Nah, I'm not going to give a fuck. He's got balls. 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 So, like civilized people. Like civilized people. So, so, when you say oh, right. Sharia law says I'm to kill like gays and jump off the tallest building, yes. building. Yes. Yeah. It, some scholar somewhere in history, this yeah. land has been around 1400 years, may have said that. But it doesn't mean I agree with it. Fine, mean that's fine. You've got a good punch. That's fine. Agree with tell me this. Tell me this. Oh, no. Does it not <laughs> trouble you that <laughs> Muslim <laughs> scholars using multiple 
uh, sources are, are arguing contradictory positions. You've got some Muslim scholars saying that if you're apostatized from Islam, the punishment should be left to the next world and not be punished in this world. And you've got some Muslim scholars arguing that apostates should be killed in this world. They're both using the same sources and they're coming to different conclusions. Is that not problematic? Because God gave us something called an internet. Yeah? So I can look at what the sources don't make sense. I'm not going to disregard that. So we are not going to Another scholar might contradict what he said, but because his his sources are behind where he's made his judgment makes sense, because they're not only using the same sources. Exactly. So it all boils down, rather than it being a perfected religion that's revealed by Allah, religion. I agree with you, it's the, not. The religion is perfect, the but, people, but the, the point is, But that's the not. point, that's the point. That this that? is supposed, really the support, it, the Quran says that on this day I have perfected your religion yeah. for you, it does. Islam. But if Islam, looking at multiple topics, comes out with totally contradictory conclusions, like whether you should kill apostates or not, that means that Islam isn't clear. It's not clear guidance. And yet you're telling us that we have to believe this religion. We've got something better. That's not what I said. I want to talk about the religion is perfect. Okay. One of those the scholars. Which one? The Shia version or the Sunni version? Oh, you want to get into that? Can you allow me to I'm say just pointing out. No, what about you? Right, uh, you're just clarifying terms. terms. <laughs> just just clarifying terms. Lefties and Arabs. You're just being arguing. 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 Just being they do miss the so that's that's the so one scholar saying that we should chuck all the gates <laughs> of the entire building, that's a mistake on his part. He's always making a mistake in the religion. religion. What criterion are you using not to say that he's making a mistake? Well, I haven't studied the story myself, so I can't say whether the mistake That's the point that I'm, I'm pushing okay, on you. But, okay, no, so hold on one second. No, 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 no. I heard your point. If I came back a week, if I, if I said to you, okay, next Sunday, same time, I'll go now, I'll study the sources for a week and come back, I can probably tell you whether the mistake Right, so hold on one second. I don't have the time to do that, I'm sure neither do you. One second, bro. Because the thing is, you've got Muslim scholars who are all using the same sources and coming they're out with contradictory answers. They're not using the exact same sources, are they? Yeah, they're using the hadiths and they're using the Quran. And they're coming yeah. to different conclusions. Not all hadith are authentic. So what you're saying is Muslim scholars can't decide which hadith are authentic or not? No, that's basically their whole, their whole life done. Right, so what we've got is a corpus of literature called hadith that Muslims themselves can't agree upon us which ones are reliable or not, and that is the reason why they're coming to I different I love how you do this. You, you take what I say and you twist it. Well, well if, I, if I was wrong, because explain why I was wrong. what I said. So we, what did you say? Know, so you know about Sakhi Bukhari and Dhamidhi and all yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we can look at those. Well, they're authentic until they're embarrassing, and then Muslims say they're not authentic. But go on. No, you're just being argumentative. It's just arbitrarily. It's okay. So we can look at those and say these are authentic, but that could, there could have been mistakes in those books, or the scholars may have made a mistake looking at the hadith. They may have looked at hadith that is not as authentic as others. I don't know that because I haven't studied it in detail. You know, brother, this this fog that you have is, is what just stops you from seeing the truth. Because don't tell me, if, if you actually think about what you're saying. What you've got is a corpus of literature that Muslims themselves can't agree on. They don't know which ones are trustworthy, and then they're trying to say that you can base judgments on these hadiths. But because they don't agree about which ones are trustworthy, they come to different conclusions. Who doesn't agree? You go speak to the, the scholars who are in the West, and they will say to you that apostates from Islam shouldn't be killed, and that punishment is reserved to the next life. You go and ask the scholars who are living in Saudi Arabia and they will say that apostates from Islam should be killed. So are we saying that... You say that people can't make mistakes. 
I'm saying that Islam is what Muslims want it to be from one generation to the next. Incorrect. And from one political situation to the next. When they're a tiny minority, it's all about love and tolerance and getting along. When they're a majority, it's all about I'm you're sorry. a dirty kufr and a mushrek sorry, and a polytheist and Park, we'll oppress the you. Park, the massacre in Finsbury Park a couple of years ago, who was it that helped those people when else someone was going to kill them? Muslims. Yeah. And? So you say Christians help people all the time. about love and tolerance. What was that? What were they showing there? What about the Christians in Egypt who have their churches bombed, their priests stabbed, their businesses stoned? What about, what about the fact that in Saudi Arabia an Arab citizen cannot be a Christian? Should we call this whataboutism? Yeah, shall we do the ism? So in Saudi Arabia, a place where Islam has dominated for 1400 years unchallenged by anyone. Okay? It is illegal for a Saudi Arabian citizen to become a Christian. Do you agree with this or not? Me personally? Yes. No. Right. And do you agree? Good for you. Yeah, you're, you're a good man, right? right? You can stop with the patronizing. But your scholars would say that you my are scholars. Yeah. Who are my scholars? I Muslim would imagine scholars. Muslim scholars. No, who? Go on, name my scholars. scholars. Oh, I apologize. Do you not follow the Alam? Do you not agree with the Alam you're talking about? So you, you're select, you have a, a, a particular ulama that you follow vis-a-vis -a, -vis a particular ulama that you don't follow? I didn't say that. Wait, that sounds like what you're saying. Quran is only there. Are you a Quranist only? Are you a Quranist only? No, I'm not, I'm not oh, a Quranist. So what I'm saying is, do you, you have any scholars You're you generalising my beliefs so that I follow whatever any scholar says. Well, name me one scholar you do follow. Uh, well, it depends what you're talking about. There's different scholars with different specialties. Okay, name me a scholar that you do follow. Give it in what specialty? Anyone you like. Uh, Al Albani. Al Albani. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now tell me a, a judgment that Al Albani is. Uh, so it's, it's the right to vote. It's all right to vote. Yeah. Do you think that I can find scholars that will say that it's not all right to vote? Maybe, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah. Okay. Right. So now let me ask you this question. If you've got two Muslim scholars using Quran and Hadith, on what basis can you say that one scholar is right and another scholar is wrong? If you're saying that you're ignorant, because you're saying you're ignorant and you can't talk about this, but you have two scholars who are not ignorant, who are contradicting one another, so how can you say one is right and the other is wrong? No, you lost me, say it again. Right, so here's the question. Here's your, here's your, here's your problem, your logical problem. Go on. Right. Go on, explain it to me. You have said at the beginning of this conversation yeah, that I am not educated enough. That you are not educated enough. Yes. And I agree you can find a scholar in Islam that says it's okay to vote. Yeah. And I am certain that I can find a scholar in Islam that says that it isn't okay to vote. Yeah, probably, yeah. So if we have two scholars who are not ignorant, who are both using the Quran and the Hadiths, but coming to completely contradictory... They might be using different... Well, let me finish. Coming to completely contradictory answers, how can you decide who is right amongst them. Well by looking at what really what you know, what sources they follow, what their beliefs are, that kind But of that stuff. means that then you're in a position to judge the scholars on their use of the material. Which would mean that you're now above your scholars. In what way would that mean I'm above my scholars? Because you've just said if I have to make a judgment between scholar A who says X and scholar B who says Z and these two scholars are using the same sources and the way I can judge between them I see what you're saying. is that I look at the sources and so, I make a judgment about who's right and wrong you're then saying that you're the scholar okay so in, so in Islam yeah, we believe that God gave us insight we have the ability to quickly analyse and say and look at what the people have said we have that ability God has given that ability given us that ability to quickly analyse different pieces and come to decisions so if I were to look at what this scholar has said and say, no, that's wrong because of this, this and this, that's fine. I don't know if you had that in Christianity, can I, can I give you so, we where got you just follow better. people blindly. No, 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 I'll give you something better. In the Christian faith, it says that you should work out your salvation with fear and trembling. So the use of one's own reason is preeminent. And what it says is that to keep the law of God, what we need to do is to love, pure and simple. And he who loves will keep the whole of the law. All of it. So much simpler than having to decide about which opinion is right and which hadith is correct and which one is trustworthy. Aim your heart at love. Aim your heart at love. It you like see, you laugh. Yeah, yeah it, it, it sounds like hippie ass shit, but the hippies got it all wrong. <laughs> totally wrong.
Aim your heart at love. And in all of your situations, in all of your circumstances, try to do unto others that which you would have done unto you. Yeah? If you go about doing that, you will live a good life or an approximation of a good life. Certainly a better life than if you follow blindly the example of Muhammad. Which, because in my experience of talking to Muslims, whenever Muhammad is an embarrassment to them, they say we don't believe that source and that hadith. Do you believe in having sex with nine-year-old children? Do you want to get into this now? Yes. Do you? Do you? Do you? Me personally? Yes. I personally wouldn't. Did Muhammad have sex with a nine-year-old child? But all the girls here, Having sex uh, when they are 11, 10, they're no, getting that's, pregnant. That's we can't. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. Yeah, no. Yes, look, yeah, it's the it's failure. Really it's really the failure really of really Western really liberalism, really not Christianity. It shouldn't be a shock to you. It's, it's the I'll failure be, of Western I've, liberalism, I've, I've, not Christianity. Yeah, turn Bob. You want to get into that? So, Muhammad had sex with a nine-year-old child. Was he right or wrong? Firstly. Let's just be the source yeah, of the voice. There we go, you see? Know. Once the sources are an embarrassment <laughs> to them, they strip them away. That's true! No, it's not Sahih it's al Bukhari. It's Sahih. It's Sahih. It, 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 it needs to be said. It needs to be said that the sources do dispute her age. Give me a source if, that says she if, was older. Can I finish? If we take the source that she was nine, which is fine for the first this argument we can. Yeah, right, let's do that. Yeah? yeah. Okay, fine. Just just the disclaimer for the camera. So, just for the sake of this argument, we're saying she was nine. She was nine. But disclaimer, and there are that, disputing sources. No, no, no. Let's be clear. Actually, there are sources that Muslims construct an argument from that she was older. Um, yeah. There are sources that but say they she was don't, older. They, yeah. they, no, yeah. they don't say she was older. But no, for the purpose of this conversation, let's just say she was nine. Right, so do you agree with that? So when did, when did they actually... <laughs> on, 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 it when she was nine. No, it, it is when she was nine. It says they consummated the marriage when she was nine. They got married when they were nine. They consummated at twelve. Married at six. Again, I, I have consummated at nine. Right. Let's just say she, they consummated at nine. Do you agree with it? It's not if I agree with it. It's my religion. It's the religion. Yeah, it's, it's God. Do you agree with it? It's God. So it's an example to you then? You should do it too. Or you can do it. Not that you should do it, but you can do it. Ask me, ask me, ask me. Ask me. Yeah. Go. So, when, do, when girls get their periods, yeah, when they start getting their periods, what does that mean? It doesn't mean they're ready to breed. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. And that just shows me how ignorant you are of child development. The fact that a child might have menstruation early does not mean that they are now physically to bear children. You're arguing essentially that because a woman bleeds, she can breed, and that is terrible. No, that's... It's terrible. <laughs> All I asked you was... You said, you said, if, if a child has a period, what does that mean? And I said, it does not mean they, they can have children. And then you said, yes, it does. They are ready. Sorry. They, 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 a child, a yeah. child. Who, no, but I mean biologically, if you take out conditioning and everything, when somebody starts to menstruate, that means that they're able to have children. Women. I'm a doctor. So yeah. Well, so uh, unfortunately, if if, if, a, if a child, you, if you're a doctor, now be honest. When a child first starts to bleed in menstruation, is there always a... It wasn't her first menstruation. Generally, but we won't say it's the rule, but, but even adult women might not always have an egg with it. And are you saying that physically and mentally a child... I mentally. I no, physically. you're a GP now and I'm, you're on I'm camera. You just said you're a doctor. Yeah. So you are a doctor no, or you aren't a doctor? <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> so, a doctor. As a doctor, your Thank professional you. opinion counts for something. No. Are you... I, all I'm saying is biologically, if you look at the history of... Are, are you a dentist? <laughs> yes. So no, you're not, all oh, right, so you try to pass yourself off as a doctor. It's a medical degree. Your, your, your dentistry. I have a doctorate, it's not his So what, right, it's on what? Degree. What on what? I have studied everything. You've studied everything? Yeah. Good, so you can answer this question. Probably. Right, so are you stood here now saying that because a child has her first period, that she is mentally and physically able to have children? I'm asking you. No, I'm not saying that. You're not saying that. So now tell him that. But he didn't say that either. No, he did. Did you say? I don't know what I said. He's putting words in my mouth. You're both. I mean, do you know what? The thing is, I agreed with a lot of what you said. But physically, biologically, that is the history of evolution of human beings. When a person starts to menstruate, that means they are then able to 
have a child physically. I think, but that I doesn't think mean they're emotionally That doesn't mean emotionally ready. emotionally and emotionally. And also not physically ready because there are many examples of children there who have become examples, pregnant whose hips have not yet developed wide enough to bear yeah, course, children. But Thank there's you. There's also very many examples of adult women who have the same thing. Not every adult Sorry, woman who Jason. has her period has an egg that's released every month. A lot huh? of women don't have periods at all. A lot of children probably Offended. don't have eggs when they have, but generally the, that's what a period is. Right? If we are, if we three are all agreed. That an, uh, if we three are all agreed that at nine years old someone doesn't have the mental, physical capacity to bear children, then my argument is sound. You see, I gave Unless you want to stand here old, and say I a nine-year-old can. I think the argument, to be honest, would be about the age, not about... That is the argument. the argument. He's is using the defense of menstruation. The argument is that yeah, the sources say she was nine. Many sources say other things too. There's are you a Muslim, Ayan? Other sources say she was 14. Yes. You are a Muslim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for full disclosure, a, a, a Muslim medical doctor, do you agree or disagree that a nine year old can have a child? Physically, biologically, and many nine-year-olds probably can have a child. Yes. So, so they you have throughout history had children. So, well, I I would dispute that you could evidence that. Actually, I can find you. I can dispute years that you could evidence years that. Years it's not about age. Yes, I'd like to see your evidence that there's lots of nine-year-old kids that have had children in so this country. So why are you children nine years old? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I'm absolutely serious. I can give you examples even on, this year probably. I can Google it right now. There are kids okay. who have had been raped it. and then they have children. Google me a I'm nine-year-old like, child that's had a baby. That's besides the argument. And then and then so ask me. The here's so the yeah, point. So here's the point. Here's the point. Because Muslims argue. Here's the point. Here's the point. I know that. I know that they can. I'm not disputing the ability. What I'm saying is that here's the problem. Muslims try to say that Muhammad is a moral example, which if he is a moral example, the best moral example, then you have no justification to say that nine-year-old children should not have children. No, no, I... So the argument is void. What, what's void, sorry? A nine-year-old, fourteen hundred years ago, is nothing like a nine-year-old today. So the there is no. I'm sorry. This, 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 this sister, sister, this is utter rubbish. This argument that there's been some evolutionary no, leap in the last fourteen hundred years is absolutely, so absolutely rubbish. It's a scientific fact. Exactly. No, friends. At the end of the day, right? It is. It is absolute rubbish. Because if your argument. Here's why, here's why it's rubbish, because the climate of Saudi Arabia is still the same today as it was 1400 years ago. If anything, it's got hotter. So if your argument stands for then, it should also work now. But it doesn't, does it? You've just said, you've just said that 1400 years ago, people used to develop quicker. Why? What's changed about our biology? No, it's mentally, we are, we are maturing at a later stage in our, in our age, which, which is true. Right. Because of the advent of smartphones, so you're saying, games, stuff like so that. So you're saying that a nine-year-old child had the mental capacity to understand what a marriage was? Exactly. That's what you're saying. How can I say that? Even their body, even their body was nothing like the nine-year-old today. When, when, when did Muhammad get engaged? When? When? The hadith say she was six. Are you telling me that a six-year-old child understands the concept of marriage? I'm a Muslim. You know, we all have a different... But I would say there's another hadith where she claimed herself in one hadith she is 14. At the same time, none other hadith she says she is 16. There was no year's calculation at the time she was. The year start calculating in the time of Khalifa, it was Hazrat Umar. There was no way to calculate the year. You can check. Go ahead, Google it. In the Arab, when they start calculating the years, there was no way to figure out how old somebody or anybody was. Even Muhammad. If you look at it in some of the hadith, he will say 60, other one will say 65. But if you're against something, you will pick up, oh, she said she was nine. Because you let, hate let's just everything about it. It's let's not about the let, let's issue. Just, of, let me address you. Let me finish now. Let okay. me finish here. 
Now, in this country, the women, the girls were getting married when they were 9, 10, 11, 12. Nobody discussed that. Also. But when it comes to that, to Muhammad, because you have against him something, so you will say, okay, 6, 9. Why don't you read another hadith where he says he was 14 or 18? 13, 14. Let me All the girls were getting married. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me finish it. Okay, because so this, the is, this is your final point. This is final point. Because the, the life expectancy was 30, 35, 36. The girls were dead. The guys were dead in 30. Nobody was living after that. Go ahead and check this out. This is fresh. So now, if you have to have a children, no, they let, let me address your point. Your, your, your point is essentially that we couldn't calculate the age, and there are other hadiths that say she was different ages. Yes. One second. I have never ever seen these hadiths be produced, and this is an argument that's been gone on. Yes, 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 I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. So, no, 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 hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Let's hold, hold on one second. Right? So, your argument is that. that that we can't know her age. Yes, for fact. The hadiths give contradictory ages. Yeah, and the hadith is not a word of Quran. How can we trust a source like the hadith if they are okay, contradictory? So my, okay, so this is the, okay, so but, a, but the point let is, me, let me finish something. But the point is, let me finish something here. Islam is dependent upon the use of hadith. No, it's not. It's are you a Quran only Muslim? I'm not saying I'm a Quran only Muslim. Do you even know what a Quran only Muslim is? Let me, let me, let me, let me say something. Okay, right, no, so no, are no. you a Quran only No, 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 I'm not. Or do you use hadith? Let me, let me say something here. I'm talking here. What's the Quanta? Okay, let me say something. Do you use hadiths? Yes, I do. I know you do. Do you? Okay, so but you do use hadith. Okay. So hadiths, hadiths are important. So if your hadiths are contradictory, how can you trust them? Why your forefather was getting married with nine? That's a fair question. Let me do it. No, it's not. It's the same thing. If your grandparents. I just said you've given a fair question. Let me answer it. But I haven't finished the other part what you were asking her. For me, I was asking her, not you. Are you answering her? She's in my knees. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. So uh, the way I do believe, if any hadith contradict the Quran. I do not believe that. Because for me to believe the word of God is Quran. Uh, so Furqan, how I can judge something is right or something is wrong. Now hadith is being said for different people, just like your Bible, what you believe in Bible. I do not believe in Bible. There's some words of God are in there. But do I have to believe all of them? No, I don't. So the same way those words are being brought to us by different people. If anything contradicts the Quran, I don't have to believe it. The Quran is the word who's going to judge them. Okay, so, that's so you said that if anything contradicts the Quran, you don't have to believe it. No, that's your criterion for And then the Quran tells you what is the age so of one second. the marriage. So one second. Right. Well, I, firstly, uh, to my knowledge, it doesn't say anywhere in the Quran what the actual age of marriage is. It says is, is when... Okay, I'm gonna, no, 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 hold on. No, no, that is no, a lie. You keep interrupting. No, because you say it you doesn't keep say anywhere. Interrupting. You keep interrupting. No, no, you want no, no, people... No. It's you always the same. Yeah. You want people to shut up when you speak, but then when someone else speaks, you feel free to interrupt. So let's be clear. Yeah. Let's be clear. Uh, Your hadiths are contradictory. They give contradictory answers let's go back to the to same let's go information. Back to Quran. We said there's nothing in you Quran. use the hadiths to interpret the Quran. If the hadiths are not a trustworthy source, if the Quran, you just said you did. You just said you don't do it as much. Yes, you do. Okay, show me how you pray salat from the Quran without you using the Quran. Let's not go off the subject. No, 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 no. Hold on. You can't just. You're not just going to jump in and say, answer this, answer this, answer this. No, no. Tell me. Tell me. Wait, wait, wait. No, you interrupted me. So at this point, you asked me a question. No, at this point, at this point, because you've interrupted me, I don't need now not to interrupt you. If you want people to listen, you have to pay them the courtesy of listening, which means that. You have to actually stop talking. Like I was listening to you when you were talking. Of. You were Do you remember that bit? No, Do you remember no. a couple of minutes ago when I wasn't like, talking and you were talking? Do you remember? No, you don't. It's all right. You're not the first guy I've met here today with small memory problems. Anyway, as I was saying, Muslims use the hadiths to understand how to practice Islam because the Quran gives an outline, but it doesn't give the detail. 
the hadith is what gives you the detail. Example, the use of salah and how you pray salah. Are you an expert on salah. Islam or a woman representing Islam side? One you? second, here you are interrupting again. Because yeah. if, I had, if I'm here to listen to you, Fair. Islamic perspective... The fact of the matter is, yeah. those hadiths contradict one another. They aren't trustworthy sources and we Muslims can't agree upon them. I say, I, I just told you my point of view. Is, now again, you lied about the Quran where you really. mentioned uh, about the marriage. Okay, so me. let me say something. Show me. Let me, I'm going to tell you something. What's the so now if, okay. According so, to the Quran, so Quran, Quran says, yep. Quran says, the first, there's two standards. And then they both have to meet yes. to, for girls to marry. The first one is the period. The second one is when she can make a decision about her property. Where does it say that in the Quran? Okay, now I cannot produce it, but it doesn't go All away. Right, we'll okay, now does. this is on we'll the, the recording. We'll okay, so now we'll there's a the the no better way. The Islam right. is the best teacher. Period and mental capacity. Capacity who can make the decision about her property. Right, fine. So it's been, it's Aisha mentally. was six years old when she Again? was married. Oh, man. Come on, you're not, you don't agree. You don't agree because no, it embarrasses no, no, you this is, this and quoting hadith. There's, there's no, four Again, again show me the Quran. Go on, show me them. You know, you know what, if you are here only because you're against something, that doesn't no, make I'm your point of something. something. Again, you ask me a question. The conversation you, start with him asking no, no, me I a question. You ask me a question if it, there's a, in Quran there's no mention about the marriage. What does it say? It's, it's two things. Yeah, it says marriage. it here. Look, I'll show you what it says in the Quran about marriage. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. I like it. I need the Quran. Yeah. The Quran. Yeah. This is not Where a Quran. This is a translation. I agree with you. With it's not a Quran. Yeah. Islam is not a religion for anyone other than Arabs. Don't buy the sale. Thank you, thank oh, you, my God. That's, that's not the Quran because it's not in Arabic, yeah? yeah. It's not in Arabic. Yeah. Arabic has to be with it. You know, oh, this, is, yeah. this is what the Quran says about marriage. Are you listening? Oh, 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 talk oh, about your divorce. 15 minutes of fame. It's fine. Stay, stay, go on, stay, go on. Stay, no, 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 talk, talk, talk. So this is, this is what it says. This is what it says in their book. This is what it says in their book. But because they find it embarrassing, they don't want to listen. It says, so this is talking about divorce. Okay. Now, obviously, if you're divorcing someone, logically, what are you, bro? If you're divorcing someone, what are you? Consent. You're Why married. You you're married. It's about consent. It's a free space. <laughs> I agree, marriage is about you're consent. About consent. Yeah. So, you're married. Okay, fair enough. So, such of your women, this is about how long you wait before you remarry someone who's divorced. Ah, okay, okay. That's important. Listen. Okay? Such of your women as have passed the age of monthly courses, for them, the prescribed period, if you have any doubts, any doubts about what? The tasfia and the hadith are clear. It's doubts about whether they're pregnant. If you have any doubts, is three months for those who have no courses for those who carry life within their wombs their period is until they deliver their burdens for those who have no courses is referring to those who have not yet reached the age of menstruation that is children children <laughs> Sorry? They could have not got they could not have been. Yes. Those who don't have their courses are on menopause. Doesn't mean it's a child. But it also means children as well. How do you know that? Because here's why we know. Here's why we know. The builder, respect, bro. Here's why we know. Yeah. I shot because because Mohammed himself, your best example, married a six year old and had sex when they were nine. You don't believe me? I'll show you. In the hadiths, Sahih al-Bukhari 762, narrated by Aisha, that the Prophet married her when she was six years old, and he consummated his marriage when she was nine years old. Hisham said, I have been informed that Aisha remained with the Prophet for nine years, till his death. So in that hadith, Aisha is giving her age at what point Muhammad consummated the marriage with her. Other translations of this verse by other scholars, other Muslim scholars, don't translate it in this way. The way they translate it is those who have not yet reached the age of menstruation. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. 
but other translators do, and we have the example of the hadiths as well. Are you fluent in Arabic? Are you? No, I'm asking you. Are you no, I'm not. Arabic? Are you? So how could you know the translation? Right. Are you fluent in Arabic? See, my sister is. Are you? Are you? I asked you that question. Yes, and I've answered that. So and now I'm asking you, are you fluent in Arabic? Are you fluent in Arabic? Right. So. Your, your argument is, because I'm not fluent in Arabic, I can't make this argument. No, that's, I said, how do you know the translation of Arabic? How do you know? Well, Yosef Abdullah Ya'ali was a linguist. Yusuf. Yusuf Ali, he was a linguist. So he was someone who was fluent in Arabic. And he translated it into English. So I'm using a Muslim linguist who translated the Arabic Quran. So I think that's valid. It doesn't say, I've never argued that it says no, child. It just says some of the other translations say child. No, it says the it, other translations say those that have not yet ye reached the age of menstruation. So you get that? So, so tell me, if, hey, give me if someone has not reached the age of menstruation, what are they? Well, some women don't have it at all, so what's the point? No, 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 no. If someone hasn't reached the age of menstruation, okay, but some women don't have it. Some people could not get menstruation. Is it? Yeah, it is. Is it? It is. Is, is that based on what? Sorry, what is that based on? Where does it say that? You, what did you ask? What, right. did, what was your question? For those who have no courses, yes. it is the same. Okay. Yeah? For those who and have like no said, courses, does that like include said, children? Well, like I said, some women don't have periods at all. But some do children women have, have courses? Have one at 18 or above? Do children have courses? Uh, I'm sure some do. Well, Aisha clearly did at nine. So at nine. Yeah. Well, well, my point is that that this is not a moral example really? that we need to follow. Well, up until 1929 in the UK, a yeah. female could get married at the age of 12. So your argument so, to defend Muhammad yeah. is to reference a kufar this, society. No, I'm using it against you. You live in this country. Don't I'm, you? I'm happy to you, disagree you with country? what people did in you the past. You live in this country. Yeah, I do. Is this a Christian country? No. Well, it is in a well, According well, to you, maybe, but not to me. Well, to a lot of people, it is. The church. They, is, they would be wrong. The church is part of Parliament. Isn't it? It is, there is an established church. Yeah. Exactly. And up until 1929, female could get married at the age of 12. Yes. So now you're complaining about Muhammad. A thousand years before that, yeah. marrying the line. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely, I am. And here's why. I'm going to explain. Here's why. Because what we know about childhood development today yeah, shows us that nine-year-olds are not mentally and physically able to bear children You're talking about study here? and the burden. You're talking about, uh, yes, there are studies. Okay, yeah. study right? study on one study Right? Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Right? This learning is accepted universally. Right around the world, societies are not decreasing the age of consent they are increasing the age of consent that is the direction of every civilization everywhere so you would admit but hold on one second you asked me the question why i've got a problem why have i got a problem not if it was just the case that muhammad did this in the past and muhammad was not an example for today i wouldn't have a problem with it because there were kings in England that have also married children. But I don't see them as a moral example. As a Muslim, do you see Muhammad as a moral example? Yes, I do. Do you see him as the best moral example? Yes, I do. do you see him as the best man? Yes, I do. So when he married a nine-year-old child, is that an example to you? No, because there were rules along with it. The parents needed to consent, no. and she needed to consent no. as well. So if when did she consent? When they approached her for marriage. And how old was she? Seven or eight. So you're trying to say that a seven or eight year old had the intellect no bro. It's just rubbish. Children no, so, no, you didn't ask my previous question. In one thousand four hundred years ago, was it customary for young girls to get married? Yes one thousand no? four hundred years ago it was customary to sacrifice people on altars to false gods. We don't do it today. Okay. 1400 years ago it was customary to marry children. We know better today. Okay, the Christians here 1400 years ago. Christians, oh, that's a good question actually. So even before the rise of Islam, in a time when Christians were still marrying children, we raised the age of consent from the age of 12 to the age of 14. Yes, in 19 Which means, no, in the 5th century. In the 5th century. No, I'm talking about Christians in the 5th century. Two centuries, two centuries before Muhammad came along, even Christians understood that a 12-year-old was too young. 
that your prophet, who you have said is a moral example to you today, engaged a child at six and had sex with her at nine. Is that an example to you? I've already explained there are rules along with it. So the parents need to consent to it. She needs to be ready and she needs to consent to herself. How is she six? And would you consent to that? Would you consent to that? If I had a daughter? Yes. Would you? Why? Why not? Because in this day and age, a girl of that age... But biologically, what has changed? Even if you was back in that time. 1,400 years ago, I don't know. I Biologically, what's so changed? His argument is that something changed 1,400 years ago. <laughs> Genetically, what has changed? Human beings are the same. A child at six, 1,400 years ago, is genetically right. the same as a child today. So are you saying this is a beautiful country? I am saying, I am saying Britain, I, yeah, I'm going to answer the question, but then I want you to answer my question. Okay, answer your question. Is Britain a paedophile country? It was in the past. But we don't look at those past generations and say that they are moral examples today. Now let me ask you a question, okay? Aisha married, uh, Aisha agreed to the marriage at six years old. According to some sources. According to some Islamic sources. Are you honestly stood here right now and telling me that a six-year-old has the mental capacity to understand what she's agreeing to? I wasn't present, so I don't know. The, the lifespan of people used to be about 30, 40 years Six. Six. Do you want me to read the hadith again? <laughs> I'm having this conversation again. Like, what was back then, 1,400 years ago? Well, it was, it's averaged out at 30, but do you exactly, know why? Exactly. Do you know why? Well, war, it's not for any war. genetic reasons. The reason why the average lifespan was shorter in those days yeah. was because we were fighting and killing and diets were terrible. Okay, so now let me respond to that. So someone Nothing who, okay, genetic. So someone who was 10, 1,400 years ago, today is the equivalent of a 20 or 30 years ago. It, that just doesn't follow logically. Yes, it does. No, it yes, doesn't. It does. No, it yes, doesn't. It does. yes, it does. No, yes, it, it does. does not. Yes, it does. No, it does not. So if we use the example of you're today saying, then, you're saying people that, would only be married You're saying that because people died earlier because of wars and poor diets, yes, that that means that mentally they were more developed. That does not follow at all. That is no, not a logical not argument. That's that. that exactly what you said. That's not why I said that. That's not why I said that. So, we've agreed. We've never a man marries someone of his own age. Yeah. He's always younger. Okay. I've, 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 got, I've, got another, I've got a question for you. You've agreed that Muhammad is not an example for you today no, on, the issue of, on, on the issue of marrying children. I haven't said that because she wasn't a child back then. She wasn't a child. She wasn't viewed as a child. Back then. She wasn't viewed. I agree she wasn't viewed as a child. But the fact that she wasn't viewed as a child does not mean that she is suddenly an adult. For 1,400 years ago, there were no legal age requirements. There are still people today. Yeah, go on. Because females used to mature at different. Uh, no, 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 that's bullshit. No, I'm saying bullshit. Every, it is bullshit. Every, every woman is talking bullshit. bullshit. Every woman is different. Like, Some women have menstruation. Yeah, but just because you have a menstrual cycle at the age of eight Hello. doesn't mean that you're able to have okay, sexual so relations. And mentally bear the responsibility yeah. okay, so of the age of eight. Yeah. Yeah. People would take that as an indication that a girl had turned. Can I ask you a question? Did Muhammad bear any children? Did Aisha bear any children to Muhammad? Do you know what? Like, did she get pregnant? I believe that she did. Yeah? Like, the, 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 do you know that there is a hadith that says that, Ma, that Aisha lost her hair? Like, there is. There is a hadith that yeah, talks about when she was still playing with toys. She was, Can she was, I, that? You have it with you? Uh, I might do, but it takes time. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm going to have to see a source, but I've never heard that. Yeah. Right. Well, you need to go away and do some research because... Well, I know, because I've never heard anyone, even uh, Christians, mention that argument before. So, you're going to have to provide a source for me to answer that. I, I, I will see if I can find that source. Okay. I will see if I can find that source. However, do a thought experiment with me. There's a hadith that talks about the fact that Muhammad came to the house of Aisha when she was playing with dolls and her mother brought her into the house and she knew she was going to be married. Okay? And she then lost her hair and Muhammad waited. I can't respond until I see this one. Yeah, that's fine. You can, I'm asking you to do a thought experiment. I can't do that. You can't do a thought experiment? Until I see this Fair enough. Well, we'll just stick with the hadiths that we have got then. We'll just stick with the hadith that we have got. We have got hadiths that say that she was engaged at six and consummated the marriage at nine. 
okay? You're trying to tell me that a six-year-old child had the mental capacity to understand what marriage was. An abstract evidence social evidence contract. Okay, there's evidence to support that. That Go means on, that then. you agree with it personally. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And that's what, yeah. and that's what this example yeah. does to you. You're defending yeah. child yeah. marriage. Yeah. 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 You are. said she was a child. At six. At nine. At six. That's when they have sex. When was she engaged? You said, you said. What was your question? She didn't have the mental capacity. No, I'm saying. Are you saying she didn't have the mental capacity? I am saying that you're arguing that a six-year-old had the mental capacity to understand a social contract like marriage. She didn't. Show me any six-year-old. Let me tell you a bit about it. It's not for Muhammad. Every culture of that time, they can marry the died, most of the religion came from Aisha herself. She narrated about seven or eight thousand hadiths. So without Aisha in the picture, Islam wouldn't be here When today. did she narrate those hadiths? After the Prophet died. What age? No, but I'm saying she she recollected the experiences she had so your, before he your died. So your argument is this, that because when she was an adult, she could tell stories. Yeah? So when she was an adult at 18, she could tell stories. No, not stories. Yeah, but let me finish. She could tell stories that go back to her childhood, no. that that means that when she was actually six, she had the no, intellect, no. Uh, the, she had the intellect to understand a social contract like marriage. That's your argument. I'm saying they were religious instructions. I never said story, I said religious instructions. Wait, what's your point? You're My saying point she is, was mentally incapable yes. and she was damaged from the marriage. Is that what you're I saying? I am saying that a six year old is mentally incapable of a nine year old. Of, no, no, old. no, no. When's no. the marriage consummated? Right. When's Narrated by Aisha that the Prophet He's married her when she was six years old when she was six when she was nine because it goes okay, on to say what we're talking about uh, what is and he consummate yeah it means they had sex okay so that's when they lived together did they live together before that no they didn't, no, they didn't. Exactly. No. so we're going to go from nine or ten right so the point is the point is when she was married was when she was six that's the hadith, Sahih al Bukhari, 7, 62 marriage, to 65. A marriage isn't formalized until there's a consummation, so it's essentially an engagement. That, that's fine. Okay, an engagement still needs two autonomous parties to agree, yes? Yes. So you are actually stood here saying that a six year old understood nine, a social nine, abstract nine, construct like nine, marriage. Six, six, nine, it wasn't six, back six, then, it wasn't back then. She nine, was well aware of it. Nine, she understood it. She understood it. She understood what she was signing nine. up for. I am trying to ask him a question in five minutes. At six. Well, yes, I mean, are you, wait, wait, wait. A six year old talk, 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 had the ability to turn around to her two parents, a prophet that is revered by her surrounding community and go, do you know what, actually I don't want to marry you. No, a six-year-old, when they are pressured by their parents and by their surrounding culture, because the hadiths do. Well, no, I'll read it again. What are you talking about marriage? Are you talking about marriage? So it was nine or ten? We're talking about the fact that a six-year-old could not possibly have had the mental capacity to understand something like marriage. And your entire argument to defend Muhammad having sex with a nine-year-old was that she was a fully competent, mental, competent woman. That's your argument. My argument was, at the beginning, what did I say? You were talking about lifespan. So people died roughly 30 to 40. That doesn't mean that a six-year-old stops being six. Okay, so are you saying a six-year-old 1,400 years ago is the same as a six-year-old today? Yes. What evidence do you have to support that? The evidence of genetics. Okay, and when was that evidence produced? That in evidence. The last 50 years or so. Yes. Okay. So By I'm rigorous I'm scientific of, testing. Okay, of people of today, not 1,400 years ago. So you, in order to have a proper you, analysis, there, wait, wait, let me finish. In order to have a proper analysis, you need evidence and data from 1,400 years ago yep. to compare it to today. Yep. So you cannot say evidence from 50 years ago uh, tells us what people were like 1,400. Of course, not. six-year-olds don't have that ability. Why friend. do you keep on saying six? We're saying nine. I'll show you because it says in the hadith. I'll just read it again. Yes. And what Sahih I tell you, marriage isn't confirmed until there's a consummation, which, which was at nine. nine. But, but the point is, you're arguing that this is engagement. what can I say to you? It would be engaged. Okay, 1,300 years after that, in this country, girls are getting married at 12 years old. 
So are you saying at 12 you roll has the capacity to agree, but a 10 year old doesn't? No, what I'm saying is that our understanding of child development today indicates that all of the past where we have been marrying children were wrong to do so. And here's why, brother, here's why Christianity is better than Islam. I'm going to give you an example why, using this example. Because in the Christian faith, we have a general ethic. It's about love. It's about doing what is best for the other person. Now, what is that, that general principle is... Well, that's not in Islam, is it? That, that that's very, not in Islam, is well, it? Let me finish. Let me finish. That general principle is a general principle, which means that our practice of it, our performance of that, can be informed by current learning, okay, okay. by and, new okay, knowledge. Okay, okay. And did Muhammad but say that the best one, of men are the ones that are best to their wives? Did he say that? Muhammad, you have just said, is the best example, and okay. he married a six-year-old and had sex with her what when you, she you was nine. About, you were talking about being good to people. Did yes. Muhammad say that the best... Yeah. Did Muhammad right say... At the, and then, are you going to respond or not? Did Muhammad say the the best of men are the ones who are good to their wives? Yes or no? I'm happy to say he did. Okay. Yes. So, using that reasoning, he wouldn't have taken advantage of a small girl, which proves to me that she was a woman at the time. No, no, so your argument yes. is, your argument is that because Muhammad said that the best of people are those that are best to their wives, means that, Ma that Aisha was not a child. I would like you to convince no, me no, that no, a I'm six saying, year old I'm is saying, not a child. No, I'm saying nine or ten. If you accept that, it's up to you. I'll read that. I'm saying 9 or 10, and I'm saying at that age, okay. he must have anti. So you're uh, saying that 9 year old are, are, are adults? Yes, she consummated at her period. Yes, but the engagement happened when she was 6. Do you think a 6 year old understands marriage? done on behalf of her parents. That was what, that's how it happened in those days. I it agree. Those days here, my pro no, let me be clear about what my point is, because everyone misses it. My problem isn't the fact that this happened. My problem is the fact that this man is your moral example. That's my problem. What's the, the, what's the legal age in the Bible? Six or nine. It was after her period. No, it says it here. Look, narrated by Isha. I'm quoting Sahih al-Bukhari 762-64. Narrated by Aisha that the Prophet married her when she was six this years is old. This is incorrect. And he, That's it. That's incorrect. Uh, why isn't it correct? It's not correct. Why incorrect. is it not That's correct? correct. Why? Do you know? Have you seen the original? What did I tell you? You've seen the original. I've read the Quran. This is an incorrect This is a hadith. It's not a Quran. All right, there you go. There you go. That's your whole. But you just said you just said you'd read the original read the and it was incorrect. That's the original word of Islam. That's it. You, there is anything else in interpretation? Anything else? So you are a Quran-only Muslim. Quran, Quran, that Quran is the way. Quran is what we so you don't Quran use hadiths. Given by God to us. Do you, are you a Quran only Muslim? Do you use, use hadiths? Right, so hadiths are valid then, sources of knowledge, yeah? Well, hadiths are valid only to the extent that they can be verified Agreed. by scholars. And, and also if they don't contradict what's inside the Quran. Brilliant. So the, the, the Sahih, is that reliable or unreliable? It's deemed reliable by Muslim. reliable. So I'm quoting a reliable hadith. So unless you're a Quran only Muslim, the audience. Okay, and what stands. did I tell you? I said a marriage is only formalized when there's consummation. Yes, no. You agree? Yes. Okay, nine or ten. Yes. Okay, but so the why agreement, did you want to say six? The agreement was made when she was six. Which means she had three years to say, I don't want to get married. A child at six years old does not understand what marriage is. Okay. And a child at six years old does not a have the emotional strength or the mental capability, capability to turn around to her family and her entire community and say, no, I do not want to marry this man. Okay, now we go back to what I mentioned before. Did the Prophet say that the best of men are the ones who are good to their wives? Yes. Okay, so using that reasoning, I'm going to take from that that the Prophet wouldn't have taken an advantage of her. That is a that is a, a, a reasoning, but it is in in terms of this debate, it is not a defense because all you're saying is all you're, using all, you're is all, all you're saying all you're saying your is, is all you're you saying all you're saying is Muhammad himself. said, "Be good to your wives." The definition of a wife based upon Muhammad's example can include nine-year-olds who have had this and back then with the women. And, and I've told you why that and was marriage the contracts because can the be made at six. Man, the average lifespan is 30 years old. So we can do better than this religion. We've got to follow Jesus.
You can do better than this religion. Okay, so the average lifespan is roughly 30 years old. So that's why women have to get married earlier, so they can raise children. Rubbish. Why? Why is that rubbish? Utter rubbish. Why is it rubbish? Utter rubbish. I accept that that's what people did. Yes. But trying to say that that is something that legitimizes as an example for today. That's my problem. But what was your point? You said this time is bad because you did it back then. No, let me state it again. The issue is not that people married kids back in the past. We've already established Christians did the same. The problem is when you try to say that this is the best example to mankind. Because a best example to mankind should not be doing something that I morally find abhorrent. Okay, is there any guidance in the Bible of what age a woman should be to get married? There's no specific age given. Okay, so if I was a Christian, I could get a one year old and marry her. My religion, a lot of Christians do my religion doesn't work like yours, bro. Right. It doesn't work like yours. So how does it work? There's so, no requirement whatsoever. No, no, my no, religion, no, no, no. So under Christianity, no, a one year old could get married. It doesn't work like that. Why? Is there, like is there any restriction in the Bible? And the, one you're so can I answer this question? So in terms of my faith, my faith is not a religion of laws like Islam. So people can right? do whatever they want. Like. No, again, you, 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 you're rushing from one characterization to another without actually listening to any answers. It's all right, the Dawah team do it here all the time. No, because you're... Here your you go premise, again. Your premise, here you go again. Your premise you haven't Islam even heard my premise. Yeah, your premise is Islam is inferior to Christianity. Yes, it is. Now, I say to you, how can... Christianity be better than Islam yes. when Christianity has no restrictions whatsoever. So I'm going to give an answer Islam to that does. question. But, but before I give an answer to that question, and it'll only take me a minute or two, try to restrain yourself. Yeah? Try to put down your ego yeah, and listen to what I'm saying. Yeah? Okay? Because in the Christian faith, you're right, we don't have a, 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 an age given in the Bible. The Bible doesn't work like that, the Christian faith doesn't work like that. What we have is an understanding, a narrative that talks about the dignity of people, that we should love people, and that we should do the best by them. That's the general premise. Now, what it means to love people and do the best by them is current to what information you have at the time. Which means that as information increases and you have better knowledge than someone previous, you can do things better. So, my faith has the capacity to evolve its practice based upon the best learning. Okay, so you say Islam, by contrast, does not. Because you have Islam a system of laws where Muhammad is the best example, which means that rather than just doing the sensible thing and standing here and saying, no, it's wrong to marry six-year-olds and we shouldn't have sex with nine-year-olds, you've stood here for 40 minutes and tried to defend it. Okay, now let me explain. What I've gathered from what you said is, under Christianity, if you can love a baby, you can marry them. Then you didn't listen to what I did. Don't put it on me. How many hadiths do you know? Only the ones I've read. Only the ones I've read? Yeah. I cannot give a fatwa unless I know over 100,000 hadith. Brilliant. And one hadith may have four chains of narration. Fantastic. Passed down. Yes. In chain. Yes. I have to know the name. Yes. I have to know the character. Brilliant. Once I can quote you one hadith, yeah. then I'll go quote you 100,000 hadith. Yes. Before I can give a fatwa. Amazing. And before I can give you a fatwa. I'm, I'm so right? impressed. Right? Yep. That's why you've got the four schools yep. that come down from generation. Yep. They used to know over 700,000 hadith. Great stuff. Imam Muhammad bin Hanbal said, you, the student, you have to know over 700,000 hadith before you can give a fact. Can I ask right? one question? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold oh, this on. is all wonderful hold information, on. but I'm hold not on. sure let what you're getting to. You're getting into, you caught in a hadith, yep. a six year old engagement, yep. you caught in a hadith yep. that she got married at nine. Yes. Right. How many fatwa are you regarding this subject? No idea. No idea. Seven. Seven different fatwas. And what did they say? Right? She got married at 12, yep. and she went to the prophet's house to contact at the age of 14. 
right? The other one, she got married at 14 and she went at 16. And the other one says she's got married at 16. So basically right? your hadiths contradict who you want another and you can't agree. Right. And yet you're saying this is the perfected religion. No, hold on, hold on. Contradict, hold on. you just said it. Hold on. The fatwas contradict yes. and hold they're on. using the same oh, sources. Inside the Quran it gives no, 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 I've got to go, but I want to no, give you no, a last no, no. point. Let so me finish the answer. Let me finish the answer. Let me, let me just, no, 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 I have to go and I need to. You said the Hadith contradicted you. No, it doesn't. I want to, yeah, they do. No, it doesn't. According to your fatwa. No, it doesn't. Oh, look. Is that him? Sorry, I can't see with the light. I think he's got his scarf on. He's got his scarf on. Right, go on. I want you to have the last word because I said and then you speak and uh, then I've got to go. So okay, go based on your premise that Islam is inferior to Christianity, my response to that is Christianity is obviously inferior because there's no guidelines whatsoever on what age you can marry someone. If I was a Christian, I could marry a one year old. In Islam, it has a clear guideline of uh, the female having reached menstruation. So how can you tell me that Christianity is superior to Islam? I don't understand it. In one word answer, because the Christian faith can evolve and through that evolution and the use of the best and current knowledge of the time our practice can no, change. In, Christianity, in Islam you can't marry. do that. Oh, no, so but no, I, no, years no, ago, no, 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 no. Okay. I just want to say no, it was a pleasure to talking to you. You have to know. Listen, don't yeah. run. Don't run. Sorry, I do have to. No, no, don't run. I'm running. I'm How many girls have the Asian man taken okay. in this country? Do you believe, How many girls do you believe the Shia or hold the on, Sunni hold hadith? On, hold Shia on. or Sunni hadith? <laughs> No, I said no camera. Right? Yeah. I said no camera. Yeah. 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 In terms of the Christian faith, we have the ability to evolve our practice based upon the best current knowledge. Which means that what we understand to love our neighbour as ourselves changes depending upon the circumstances. But the aim is always to uplift the dignity of man that is made in the image of God through the practice of love. By contrast, Islam, Islam is a system of laws that upholds a man, Muhammad, as the best example for today. Which means, when he engaged, who would not have had the mental capacity to say no, or to understand what marriage is, and then consummated that marriage at six, that leaves Muslims in the difficult position of having to defend sex with children. Sex that we now understand would be harmful to them. And what is shameful is that we even found Muslim doctors, people with medical certificates, trying to justify this here today. It's simple, guys. If your conscience tells you that your prophet is not an example for you today, then he isn't an example for you at all. If you can't behave as Muhammad behaved now, then you don't need to behave how he behaved in any sense. Because if he's not a good example for you in everything, he's not the good example you need to follow and you need to find a better one. And that example is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless.